December 1988. History was made when the Astra satellite was launched successfully into space on board an Ariane rocket. A dream had become reality, and a whole new era in satellite television had begun. Moments after its separation from the rocket, the Astra satellite reached its planned geostationary orbit position. 19.2 degrees east, some 36,000 kilometers above the equator. From here, it broadcasts a unique choice of television and radio channels. The Astra footprint covers the greater part of Western Europe, from Scandinavia down to the south of Italy, and from Spain across to Eastern Europe. Within this footprint, except for outlying areas, a small 60 centimeter dish is all the viewer needs to receive the direct transmission of Astra's great programming choice. offers a wide variety of European channels, giving the viewer more channels and more choice. But let's take a closer look behind the scenes. Astra is operated by Societe Europeenne des Satellites, a private Luxembourg company founded in March of 1985 under a franchise from the Luxembourg government, with headquarters at the Chateau de Betzdorf. Astra is a television system designed for Europe and consequently shareholders include European banking institutions, investments and media companies. The company employs over 100 staff from some 16 different nations and it's this team of multinational professionals who ensure the success of the Astra system. is the control center at Bedstore, where communication with the Astra satellite is maintained around the clock. The control center ensures that the Astra satellite system functions perfectly at all times. The huge parabolic antennas are positioned to face directly towards Astra and control and steer the satellites in space. They also uplink the programs and, if necessary, they can also monitor the first stage in space of any other satellite before it reaches geostationary orbit. The satellites are monitored and steered from this control room which is equipped with at least one or two backup units and is capable of servicing the Astra system. The individual channel transmitters on the satellite are called transponders and they are monitored from this control room. Every satellite is constructed individually and it takes highly qualified specialists at least two years to build an Astra satellite weighing two tons. The satellite is very sensitive and needs to be assembled in a completely dust-free environment. Each part undergoes rigorous testing to ensure that it functions perfectly on its own and as part of the system. Precision testing like this at ground level will ensure that the satellite performs perfectly in space. Let's go back and see what happens after the launch. The Ariane rocket projects Astra towards its temporary orbit near the equator. In this elliptical orbit, the closest point from the satellite to the Earth is 220 kilometers, and the furthest is 36,000 kilometers. Helped by the firing of onboard thrusters, Astra is then propelled into its geostationary orbit, where the satellite unfolds its 20 meter long solar panels. These panels supply the energy for its electronic system.
in low Earth orbits at a height of 300 kilometers, a satellite will revolve every one and a half hours and spin faster than the Earth. The Moon, which is in a high Earth orbit, revolves only once every 28 days. So position between these two, in geostationary orbit at a height of 36,000 kilometers, the Astra satellite spins at the same speed as the Earth.